Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Today I'm going to tell you all about the 2017 Winnebago Mini 2201DS. This is a great couples coach, a ton of high-end amenities as you would come to expect from Winnebago. Let's go ahead and start on the front here, we'll make our way back and then head on in. So one of the first things you'll notice is this right here, which is your propane tank cover. Nice large cover helps hide the unsightly tanks. Very easy to access the tanks. Just undo this thumb screw, this door lifts up, and that will give you access to your two 30 pound tanks. Switch over also is right on top and front here, so it is very easy to switch from one tank to the next. Right behind the propane tank cover are the rails for your battery. And then coming up the front right here is black diamond plating. This diamond plating helps protect the front end from any rocks or debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. That way it doesn't scratch up your beautiful fiberglass front end. Speaking of the fiberglass, take a look at the sidewalls here. This unit is in the cherry red exterior, but I love the sidewalls on Winnebago towable products. This is one of the uh, best construction methods in the industry. This is a true poured gel coat exterior. The closest thing I can compare that to is a bolt hull, the way they make it, uh, but it's phenomenal. You can buff it, you know, it has that shine, that luster, and it'll keep it just like a boat would. And you can see that all the way through. If you look closely, you won't see any fiber fibers in it like you do on a lot of other manufacturers. So uh, again, I love the exterior on here. Not only is it a great color, but it has a great finish. Then I pass through storage. We go ahead and take a look right in there. You can see it is quite large, big opening on there, all finished off. You do have a light, so if you need to access anything at night, you can see what you're doing. And also at the far end is a battery disconnect. So that way when you're done camping, you don't have to worry about messing with the battery. Just turn that disconnect and that will kill all power to the coach. Making our way back a little, right here you see the power awning. That spans the entire length of the coach, which is great. Just one touch of a button, that rolls out. Same thing to go back in. Very simple and easy to use. Underneath the power awning are two outside speakers. That way if you want to sit out here, listen to some music, you can definitely do that. Now those are controlled by your multimedia center inside. However, the multimedia center is Bluetooth capable. So if you have a smartphone or tablet, you can sit out here underneath the awning, go ahead and connect to that. You can run streaming music service like Pandora, iHeartRadio, or music right from your device itself. So that way you have that connectivity so you don't have to constantly go inside the unit. Speaking of going in the unit though, it is very simple. You'll see you have two steps right here and an easy grab handle. Now this does fold of course for travel, but it is great. It helps you from the first step all the way into the coach itself. If uh, watching TV outside is more your speed, that's not an issue either. You'll see right here is a sticker that shows where the backer is in the wall. That is pre-installed. So if you do want a TV, you know exactly where to go ahead and mount it. And then your hookups for cable are right here, electric right here. Now bear in mind, this electric can be used for anything. So if you want to hook up an electric griddle or something out here, you know, set up a table, you can certainly do that as well. If we take a look at the rims on here, you'll see these do have the upgraded deluxe alloy rim. Uh, which is great. They look you know, really, really nice. They won't rust or corrode nearly as easy. You can see they have the red accents on there, really just help tie and everything together. Also, they nitrogen filled tires, so you uh, get more even ride as you're uh, pulling this down the road and more even tire wear as well. Right here's an outside kitchen. So this is one of the things I love uh, on a couple's coach, because a lot of times you have to go to a bunkhouse model to get an outside kitchen. But myself, I love cooking outside. That's one of the big reasons I go camping, especially if you're cooking something that's gonna smell, well, like bacon. Uh, you know, that tends to stink up the entire RV. When it's out here, you can enjoy the smell and not have everything else smell afterwards. So as we take a look, you can see right here, you have a good prep surface right up top there, shelf all along the back. So if you wanna set up some cups or something back there, you can, some spices, whatever you want. Sink right here, of course. This is your two burner cooktop. So again, if you need to you know, cook up some bacon, you can go ahead and put it right there, cook it up, not an issue. And then you have an electrical outlet here as well in case you need to plug anything else in. Refrigerator over to the side, plenty of space there for uh, drinks and condiments. And underneath you will see you have a propane quick connect. Now uh, that is mainly intended for this cooktop right here. You can go ahead and plug that in. However, if you have something of your own that you want to bring like a grill and you don't want to hook up your uh, small little propane, your little green tanks, you can go ahead and take a hose, run it to that propane quick connect, then it'll feed off the 60 pounds in front instead of having to bring those tanks with you. So a great extra feature. 
When you come around to the back, this one is equipped with a rear mounted ladder, so it makes climbing up on the roof extremely easy. So if you need to get up there for any kind of maintenance or if you just want a higher vantage point, you can go ahead and do that. But I love having a ladder that is attached, it's not very obtrusive, and you don't have to bring one with you. The ladder takes up huge amount of space in your pass-through storage. Also, spare tire on the back. I, I like the fact they give you a cover. Uh, you know, hopefully you never have to use a spare tire. It's kind of one of those things, kind of like insurance, where you're glad you have it, but best case scenario, you never have to use it. However, if you do, you know it's gonna be in good shape. It's riding right back here, and it has the cover on there to help protect it from the elements. Come around to the side with me. Couple last things before we head in. Uh, one is this right here. This is your outside shower. This does have both hot and cold uh, access. So if you need to wash the dog or your feet, you know, after you're done with the beach, whatever it may be, you do have that. Then right below is the black tank flush. If you're not familiar with the black tank flush, this is something that's really neat that a lot of manufacturers are putting on these days. Uh, and what this does for you is instead of having to drag a hose through the entire RV and sticking it down the toilet to wash wash out your black tank when you're done camping. Now you just take that hose, go ahead and hook it up right here. Your black tank actually has sprayers built in. That way it'll go ahead and wash it out for you. Just makes the process a whole lot simpler when you're breaking down camp. But all right, folks, that's gonna wrap up the outside. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2017 Winnebago Mini 2201DS. This particular model is in the Mamba interior. Let's go ahead and start off over here on the kitchen. So, you know, they have a decent sized countertop in this floor plan. They do give you some extra prep space right here, which is nice. Uh, a lot of extra space back here too. So if you need to set up a coffee maker or something like that, you do have the room to do it. Also in order to aid in prep space, they give you two single top covers here and the cooktop cover right over here. Both these sink top covers do come off. These are cutting board quality, so if you want to use them as cutting boards, you certainly can. Then right there, you'll see the stainless steel double bowl sink. Also, high-rise faucet here aids in doing dishes. Over to the side right here is your cooktop. As I mentioned, this does have the cover. Uh, you can lift this up, it is foldable. Three burner cooktop there. The front burner on here is high output. And I personally like the Atwood cooktops. I think they have nice flame control so you don't burn all your food while camping. Also, if you'd like to do some baking, right there underneath is an oven. Now, the cool thing about you know larger countertops means you have a lot of storage underneath. So let's go ahead and take a look. You can see right over here, when we open this up, you have big storage right there, which is awesome. Right over here also is an electrical outlet. So I was talking about a coffee maker. You can just run a cord right down there, nice and easy to plug in. Or there's also an additional outlet right here. Uh, for additional storage down beneath, you can see right here three full extension drawers, which is great. Nice large drawers all the way down. So it's big enough for not just silverware, but also your serving utensils like your spoons and spatulas. Then right underneath here again, more storage kind of into that same uh, area, but big access. Now the top area here is large enough. If you want to fit a small trash can, you can go ahead and put one in there. A window in the kitchen is always a great thing, especially when doing dishes so you can look out and see the campsite. And also it lets in some natural light during the day. At nighttime, you have LED lights, not just in the kitchen, but throughout the entire coach, which is a huge benefit. LED lights are nice and bright. Also, they don't put out near the heat and use a fraction of the power as your standard incandescent bulbs. Right up top, you can see great storage up there. So that's nice for some additional pantry space. Over to the side here is your microwave, underneath fully functional hood with a light and a fan. Rounding out the kitchen over here is the Dometic fridge freezer combo. You can take a look at that. Plenty of room here, nice cut out over to the side for some of your taller items like a uh, two liter of pop, half gallon of milk. Uh, this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switchover, which means if you're running it off propane, as soon as you plug into shore power, as long as it's on auto, it will automatically switch over to electric for you, saving you on propane gas. Now right over on this side, take a look at this. This is great, you get a large pantry right here. I love that they were able to fit this in, uh, you know, because yes, the storage next to the microwave is nice, but having this extra pantry storage right here is definitely icing on the cake. 
Now right behind me is the bathroom. Uh, one of the things I love to talk about on Winnebago products, besides the awesome exterior, are the doors they put in here. And I know, you know, it seems like a very minor thing, but I'm telling you, when you're out shopping RVs, open and close the Winnebago interior doors and do the same thing to uh, some of the competition, even higher end, you know, really high end stuff, like uh, half a million dollar motorhomes. And you will see what I mean. The doors on here are some of the best in the industry. They're phenomenal. Every time they open and close, it's nice and solid. They don't, you know, pop open on you. They close very easily. They've just done a great job, which kind of shows some of the attention to detail that Winnebago puts in their products. Now, as we enter into this massive bathroom, first thing you'll notice when you walk in is a robe hook right there. So if you're showering, you can go ahead and hang your clothes up. Then, I mean, take a look at the size of this. It is massive, which is awesome. Uh, the thing I love about having a big bathroom is you can get dressed back here. You know, there's plenty of space. You don't feel like you're closed in and claustrophobic like you do in a lot of RV bathrooms. Right down in the corner here is your foot flush lever toilet. You can see you obviously have plenty of leg room all the way around. Then take a look at this. Up behind the toilet, how cool is this? Huge wardrobe space. You have hanging rods all the way across the top, and this is nice and big right here so if you have larger items like long uh, long coats or dresses they're not going to crumple up on the bottom then over here they built in a shelf up top then an additional hanging rod right there so wonderful wardrobe space in here which i love so as i said that way when you get out of the shower you can just pick what you want and go ahead and put it on now you need to have a linen closet too not an issue take a look at this again great storage right here plenty of room for all of your towels and other bathroom accessories you are going to need up top right here you'll see your fan so if you do uh, you know when you're done showering you need to get some moisture out go ahead and turn that on ducted AC in this coach as well uh, something I always like to mention now right over here is your neo angle shower this is really cool I love what they've done with these doors uh, you know that it's a beautiful door system on here it has a magnetic seal and I like the fact that it's in rollers uh, the reason is because it's in that track like that when you open these doors all the water will stay in the shower pan instead of being a swing door where the water tends to get all over the floor this makes it nice and easy and you don't have to clean up afterward you can see you have shelving in there a hand wand as well makes it nice and easy to wash up and a large skylight now when I step in here you can see even without the skylight I'm about six foot I still have sufficient room but if you're a taller person you do have the extra room here for the skylight uh, gives you that extra height which is awesome then moving over to the side, uh, right up top you have mirrored medicine cabinet, double door which is cool, so plenty of storage there as well. Come back down, huge countertop in here, so you know you have room for a toothbrush holder. If you need to use a, a hair dryer or curling iron and you have countertop space, you can set it down there. Stainless steel bowl as well, again showing you that Winnebago quality, upgraded bowl there. And then your electrical outlets right underneath. Go ahead and open this up and you will see a little bit of extra storage there as well. All right, so beautiful bathroom, right? So great coach, excellent outside, huge bathroom, wonderful kitchen. Let's take a look at our dinette and slide out. So, uh, you know, this is a lighter weight coach, and again, you have the slide out right here, which is uh, awesome. Huge U dinette. I like the fact they do this. Uh, it's very versatile. You can see, you know, they kind of have a corner cushion there. So, if you want to put your back up against the wall and have your legs come out the dinette, you can certainly do that. But the, the really neat thing about this is it allows you to entertain and have extra guests if it's not just the two of you now of course if it is as I mentioned there's pl you know plenty of room here you can do whatever you want but uh, you have room for guests so if you have people come over for a meal you can go ahead and do that you know if they want to stay the night that's an option as well because these legs right here both come out and if you see there's rails all along the seat there that way the table will just sit on those rails fill that in with cushions and this is large enough to sleep to adults large window there too let's in a lot of natural light during the day you have this light fixture right up top at night and some additional storage right here in the corners so that's some cool extra storage right there 
Now if you're sitting here, maybe it's a rainy day, you wanna watch some TV, not an issue, here you are. Um, so this is cool, you have a Jensen TV as well as a Jensen Multimedia Center. The reason I like to really point that out is Jensen Electronics are uh, a top name brand in the RV industry and a lot of people aren't aware of that. So manufacturers tend to pay more for these electronics but there's good reason for it. They're, as I said, they're built specifically for the RV industry so they can withstand the shocks and vibrations from going down the road as well as the temperature extremes from very hot to very cold. So that way, you know, as you're uh, storing your RV season over season and it's going through some of those colder winters, when you come to take it back out, you know that your electronics are still gonna work. It's not gonna be a problem. Uh, but as I said, you know, right here, this multimedia center, this guy controls your speakers outside. It is Bluetooth capable, as I mentioned when we were out there. Uh, controls your speakers inside. It's a radio, CD, and DVD player. So if you wanna watch a movie, go ahead and pop it in. You can watch it on your 28 inch TV here. Then right up top, you'll see additional storage there as well as additional storage right here underneath. Now let's move up into the very nose of the RV and we enter into the bedroom. So cool feature about the bedroom, one of the things I wanna start on is this right here. So if you notice, this was our TV. Take a look at that, this spins right around. So I love it when they do this, makes it very simple and easy for you. So, you know, if it's at night, you wanna watch a show before bed, you don't have to worry about having a second TV, just flip that guy right around. Of course, queen bed right here. This does have storage underneath as well. It is very easy to access as it is strut supported and it lifts nice and high. So, you know, a lot, of, a lot of times when these beds lift up, it's hard to get in even with the struts, but because it's so high, you have easy access to anything you need to get to underneath the bed. Now we do have different uh, storage on either side of the bed. On one side, you can see right here, we have a smaller wardrobe, but remember, you don't need a huge one because you have a massive one in the bathroom. Then over on this side, you can see you have a nightstand, an electrical outlet there as well to go ahead and charge cell phones, or if you have a CPAP machine, there is plenty of room to put it there. Also, pull out drawer here. So again, anything else you need to put in there, you certainly can. And you have additional storage running along the top. LED reading light there, so if you wanna read, you can go ahead and do that. Extra vent here as well, so if you don't wanna run the AC at night, you can go ahead and open some windows up, open that guy up, and help get a cross breeze coming through. But all right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Uh, again, this is a 2017 Winnebago Mini 2201DS. This one has the cherry red exterior with the Mamba interior. If you're looking for a great quality couples coach, this is one you have to check out. You know, the exterior is gorgeous. When you come inside, you have good kitchen space. You know, you have good pantry space. The bathroom is massive. You have the big u dinette slide out. This is just one you don't wanna miss out on. Uh, if you have any questions or comments on this one, please feel free to go ahead and leave those in the section below. Or you can always give myself Ian Baker a call here at American RV and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. If you have particular questions on the specs of the unit or if you're looking for latest price and availability, I recommend you visit our website which is AmericanRV.com for the most up-to-date information. Also, if you enjoyed this walkthrough, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you'll be one of the first to see all the new content we offer here at American RV. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.